Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 14. Then came certain of the elders of Yashadael unto me, and sat before me. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, these men have set up their idols in their heart, and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them, and say unto them, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Every man of the house of Yashadael that sets up at his idols in his heart, and puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and comes to the prophet, I Yahuwah will answer him, that comes according to the multitude of his idols, that I may take the house of Yashadael in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. Therefore say unto the house of Yashadael, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Repent, and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For every one of the house of Yashadael, or of the stranger that sojourns in Yashadael, which separates himself from me, and sets up his idols in his heart, and puts the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and comes to a prophet, to inquire of him concerning me. I, Yahuwah, will answer him by myself, and I will set my face against that man, and will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am Yahuwah. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, Yahuwah, have deceived at that prophet, and I will stretch out at my hand upon him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Yashadael. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeks unto him, that the house of Yashadael may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their Elohim, says Adonai Yahuwah. The word of Yahuwah came again to me, saying, Son of Adam, when the land sins against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noach, Daniel, and Eov, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, says Adonai Yahuwah. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, and they spoil it, so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts, though these three men were in it, as I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, they only shall be delivered. But the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land, and say, Sword, go through the land, so that I cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men were in it, as I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my fury upon it in blood, to cut off from it man and beast, 
though Noach, Daniel, and Eov were in it. As I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, how much more when I send my four sore judgments upon Yerushalayim, the sword and the famine and the noisome beast and the pestilence to, get off, to cut off from it man and beast. Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see at their way and at their doings, and ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Yerushalayim, eth, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when ye see at their ways and at their doings. And ye shall know that I have not done without cause eth all that I have done in it, says Adonai Yahuwah.